Now that the government has agreed to bail out mortgage giants Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, what will this do for the housing market and the consumer? Joining us now for a Fox Business exclusive is Dolly Lenz, Vice Chairman of Prudential Douglas Elliman. Dolly, we immediately saw a reaction in mortgage prices. They came down significant. What about 70 basis points? Yes, yeah, 70 to a whole, a whole point. Were you doing the wonderful. happy dance? Happy, happy, had dinner, drinks, oh, yeah, really happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, Jean-Georges immediately. Exactly, Jean-Georges. Were you there? No, you're no, kidding. No, no swear. For those of you who don't know, this is a top restaurant in New York. Yeah. Well, what does it mean, though, for, let's start off with the high end, because you have a lot of high end clients here. What does that mean for that particular customer? You know, for that particular customer, it means less than for the rest of the customers, because for that customer, you know, they really have the cash. It's not such an issue. It means a lot to the customer in the... 500,000, 1 million, 2 million market, where a little extra buying money helps them tremendously. And confidence helps everyone. So you are all for the bailout, the rescue plan of Fannie and Freddie? Totally. It shows that we have a plan and we implemented a plan. How it all works out, we'll see, but at least we have a plan. You've watched these two companies, though, forever. Did you just shake your head and say, there are all kinds of accounting irregularities? This is going back more than a decade. All kinds of problems and terribly managed, yet the, the heads of these companies were running away with tens of millions of dollars. You know, having been an accountant for many years, I think that I'm more sensitive to that than most people, so I, I'm always amazed at how some companies are run or not run. You know, it really is shocking. What have you seen in the New York City market, which has been, the, they call it the bubble that hasn't popped? Right, exactly. You know, we're seeing everything good status quo. Um, we're seeing people take a little more time to make a decision, but they are making a decision. And as long as you provide what they want and what they need at a reasonable price, we're making sales, and, and a lot of sales. Lehman Brothers uh, is a story today, obviously. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the biggest groups of customers that you guys have had, especially at the high end, have been the investment bankers and the financial experts, et cetera, from all of the investment banks. That's got to play in as many of these companies have laid off legions of people, and they're truly struggling. The stock isn't worth anything. Didn't they used to say, oh, I've got a ton of stock, I'll pay for it in cash? Oh, it's shocking. I mean, I had people at Bear Stearns, for example, who had $60 million in their stock portfolio, and that became a million dollars. I mean, you oh. imagine that situation. You know, they were rich, and now they're comfortable. It's a big difference. Yeah, it's so, yeah, it, it definitely plays, but we have to go find the buyers where the buyers are, and we will. And we always have. What has surprised you about the reaction of the real estate market? I know it's short term. It's only been 24 yeah, day, hours. Yeah. But what, what have you picked out here? I, I found that I got a lot of calls from overseas saying, okay, so now that that's done, let me go back into the market. Let me look at what I thought about before and let me revisit it and possibly jump in. So that will play out over the next two weeks and we'll have a better handle on it, I think, two weeks looking back. So am I hearing you right when, mm -hmm. when I say that first home buyers, first time home buyers are mm -hmm. the ones who may come out as the real winners here? Exactly. Exactly. And that's who needs it the most, so I'm delighted. But will people get the credit? Uh, you know, it's not like lenders woke up today and said, oh, now I'll start lending so freely again. They won't. But that's our job, to make sure they get the credit by giving them credit training, credit crunch, whatever they need, we're going to be there to give them and match them up. You are all that and a bag of chips. Mm -hmm. I earlier said a can of beans and everybody emailed me and said, Liz, you're an idiot. It's a bag of chips. How about M&M's? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I go with the chocolate too. Dolly Lentz, Prudential Douglas Elliman, Vice Chair, mm -hmm. and one of the most powerful people in the United States as it pertains to real estate. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much for having me. Anytime. Appreciate come it. back again. Thank you. Uh, let me throw it to Todd Harrison.